Ooh, all right, <clears throat> what's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about seven reasons why women crave male attention. First thing I wanna say before I get into the seven things is that it seems to me that we now live in a world where men have forgotten the power of their own nature because they're too focused on female nature. You understand? It's like men have totally forgotten how valuable they are in the scheme of male and female relations because they're so focused on what the woman is doing instead of being totally focused on what they need to do as men. And that brings me to my first reason why women crave male attention. Male attention is responsible for civilization. Male attention is responsible for everything that we see today. Technological advances. It's the reason why most men are in STEM more than women are. Not to say that there aren't women engineers and female scientists, but more often than not, there are male engineers, male chemists, male scientists, and so on and so forth. So it is the male attention, it is the male energy that provides the structure and the society that we live in. It is the male energy and attention that makes everything that we see around us possible. All the innovations, all the conveniences, and all the structure and foundation of society is a result of male attention, male energy. So when a woman can harness male energy, it makes her feel powerful. Secretly, women understand the power of men. Women look up to men, women admire men. And when a woman finds a man that she can put trust in, that she can follow, she understands how valuable he is. And so in general, women understand the value of men. So when they can harness male attention, they realize that they can literally affect the entire world. That's why women crave male attention because male attention, time, and energy is powerful. So if a woman knows how to control male attention, she can literally control the world. The second reason women crave male attention is for protection and survival. We have to understand that it is a woman's nature to look out for her survival. It is a woman's nature to nurture her children and to make sure her children survive. It is a natural instinct of the female to try to survive so she can bring forth the next generation through procreation, pregnancy, and so on. So inherently, a woman craves male attention for her protection and survival. This is something that men need to understand because if we understood this, we would understand how important we are in the design of procreation and how we carry on life from generation to generation. We impregnate the female and once she's pregnant for the next nine months, we have to be sure that she is protected and we have to be sure that she survives so she can bring forth the next generation. So a woman naturally and innately craves male attention because of protection and survival. Another reason why women crave male attention is provision. You see, men provide. We provide structure, we provide protection, survival, safety. We provide the roads, the bridges, the infrastructure. We provide the systems and we put systems in place to allow everyone in society to function. You understand? Most CEOs are men. Most bosses at the job are men. Most of the foremen on the construction sites are men. Most of the people in STEM are men. You understand? So we provide. It is a part of our instinct as men to provide. You must understand that the mark of a good leader is that he is a good servant. You understand? A lot of people don't realize that. The mark of a good leader is that he has to be a good servant. Now, just because someone is a servant doesn't mean that they're groveling on their hands and feet to serve. What it actually means is that the knowledge and intelligence and the leadership that I provide ultimately ends up being a service for all people in society and most importantly women, right? Because we have to protect them while they incubate the next generation for those nine months. So there's a lot of things that men have to provide and put into place. So once again, a woman can fulfill her role and do what she needs to do. So in this way, a woman craves male attention for provision. She needs to be provided for. She needs resources, she needs money, she needs shelter, she needs protection, she needs provision. You understand? So women crave male attention because they know with male attention comes provision. Another reason why women crave male attention is the influence of male attention. 
okay? Women understand that men are very powerful. Women understand that men are leaders. So they know that if they are associated with a man who has influence, they also have the ability to wield that influence. They also have the ability to affect that influence. They also have the ability to influence that influence, so to speak. You understand? And on the flip side for influence, a woman, when she trusts a man, when she sees the value in a man, she understands that his influence on her is very important. She wants to follow that man. She wants to be influenced by that man, especially if he's successful, if he has a good network, if he has a lot of resources. She wants to understand how she can play a part to be a part of that man's designed to be a part of that man's system. She wants to be influenced by him because she understands that his success is a part of her success. And so she wants to be influenced by his leadership. She wants to be influenced by his knowledge. She wants to be influenced by his network because she can take that influence and influence other women. And she can also take that influence and influence the children. And so that will carry on the information and the influence from generation to generation. Another reason why women crave male attention is because male attention in most cases is honest and authentic. I'm sure you've heard before a woman say, hey, I got girlfriends, but I really like my guy friends. I like hanging out with guys. I like talking to guys. I have great conversations with my brothers, my uncles, my father. I have great conversations with my male co-workers, my male friends. A lot of times we hear women say this, that they like hanging out with the opposite sex more than they do women. You get what I'm saying? So the reason for that is because a woman can trust most times that when she's interacting with a man, there is a certain authenticity, there is a certain honesty, there is a certain straightforwardness that comes with male attention. And a lot of times a woman, especially a woman who is seeking leadership, a woman who values the influence of a man, she wants to be a part of that because she wants to understand and be a part of that authenticity. Sometimes a woman might not be comfortable with the confusion that comes with all the emotions and the irrationality of female nature. So sometimes she wants to understand things honestly and authentically. And she can only, most times she can only get that from talking to a man. And there are times when a woman is dealing with the ups and downs of emotions. She's talking to her girlfriends. She's, you know, she's watching reality shows or soap operas or whatever. And there's a certain level of feminine energy that may be confusing. There's a certain level of feminine energy that may be unsure. There's a certain level of female energy that may cause her to be confused when she's interacting with female energy. So there are times where she needs to take a break from that and she needs to talk with a man. She needs to talk with somebody that's logical. She needs to talk with somebody that's straightforward and honest. She needs to talk to somebody that looks at life or has the perspective of black and white, left or right, ones and zeros, something that's very binary, something that there's not a lot of gray area, something that, like I said, is very authentic and honest. And what happens is a woman, sometimes a woman can value that type of interaction because she's able to trust in a straightforward, honest and authentic type of energy, as opposed to other types of energy that are more feminine, erratic, irrational, and very indecisive, very flexible. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes a woman craves male energy simply because male energy in most cases is honest and authentic and straight to the point. Another reason why women crave male attention is because of the leadership. A lot of times women, when they get emotional, when things are happening all around them and they, they might feel a certain type of way, they might, they might feel confused, they might feel emotional, they might feel overwhelmed. Male leadership helps to bring them back to their center. Male leadership helps to calm things down. Male leadership helps to reduce the confusion. Male leadership can help to bring a woman back to direction. You understand? That's why leadership is so important, especially male leadership. In most cases, a man, a man who's actually a man has the ability to compartmentalize and focus on the goal, focus on the direction, focus on the ultimate solution to the problem. And there are many times where a woman, especially when things are happening in real time, there are times when a woman needs a man to lead her, 
There are times when a woman needs a man to understand the, the logistics of the situation. Take her by the hand, calm her down, and lead her to a place of safety. Lead her to a place of understanding. Lead her to a place of honesty. Lead her to a place of comfort and protection. You understand? So women crave male energy because they crave leadership. They need to be directed. They need to be shown what to do in real time so they're not confused, they're not overwhelmed, and they're not too emotional. Another reason why women crave male attention is because male attention, energy, and perspective is close to godliness. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, is that as men, when we have a thought or an idea, we have a powerful ability to create and manifest. A woman can nurture, a woman can enhance, but it's a man's nature, it's a man's job, it's a man's charge or challenge of life to create, to manifest, to have a plan, to have a direction, to make things happen. That's why most inventors in history have been men. Men are creators, women are nurturers and enhancers. This is just nature. And it's not to say that women are less. We need women. But the thing is, is that men have the catalyst. Men have the creation. Women take that catalyst and creation and enhance it and nurture it to magnify. So that's why a man can take a single cell sperm, attach it to a female egg, and then in nine months we get a complete human being. And that is the beauty of the difference between male and female and how we come together to make things happen. So a woman craves male attention because she craves being closer to God. A lot of people might not agree with this, um, you know, and I don't really wanna be religious about it, but the point I'm trying to make is that when we talk about men and we talk about the ability of, of a man's mind, the logic, the ability to manipulate the natural world, the natural environment, the ability to come up with ideas for innovation, the ability to come up with ideas for structure, infrastructure, for, found, for the foundations of things that allow civilization and society to function. That's the closest thing that we have in real life and in real time to God, or whatever your idea of what God is. Meaning that men are creators, women are enhancers. So a, because a woman wants to fulfill her purpose, she craves male attention because she understands that the closer she gets to male attention is the closer she gets to actually fulfilling her purpose on earth. You understand? So men get inspiration from the intangible definition of what we might call God directly. And then we take that idea, we take that one cell organism and we combine it with the female. We combine it with the female energy. We combine it with the female body. We combine it with the feminine the divine fem we take the divine masculine that is directly connected to god and then we connect it to the divine feminine and then we ultimately create but the creation starts with god then to the man and it is enhanced by the woman so the woman craves male attention because it is the closest that she can get to the idea of god Okay, so this has been seven reasons why women crave male attention. It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. I appreciate you for watching. Please be good to yourselves. Have a great day. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.